Good morning, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. This is a channel that is dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. My name is Murph, and I am the host of this show. So, we're here, day 21, I believe. Yep, day 21. This is band number 11. In this case, it's artist number 11, or rock artist number 11, if you, if you prefer, for my 31 favorite rock albums from the year 1982. So the artist I chose today, I do not have the album. I did have it in vinyl at one time. And uh, played it a lot, liked it a lot. I still like it a lot, um, but I see it a little bit differently than I used to as well. Kind of the same thing that went on with Rush's Signals went on with this album, but not as severely. I think the problem with the Rush Signals album is that it got so much play and it was such a disappointing not disappointing in that it was a disappointing album but disappointing that i knew rush was going to be changing their music that it has more of an emotional impact on me that way than this one would on me so the album we're doing today is mike rutherford's acting very strange uh, i believe this is his second i think this is second uh, solo album um so overall the album is kind of poppy but it has its heavy parts it has its uh interesting sounds at times as well and the fact that he actually sang on this album was uh to me the good part i wish he'd done more albums where he actually did the singing because i i kind of like his voice um and you know to me the song acting very strange really illustrates to me how good his voice is he's got that kind of um raspy feel at times to it which he's like forcing the song to to come out in uh, kind of a, an emotional way, I think. And that's part of the reason why I like it so much. And he, I wish he'd done more albums like this one. Uh, the other song that I really like on this album is Maxine. This is a much heavier song than most of the songs on the on the album and really has a bite to it. And part of the, part of the reason I like this album so much is that it's got that little bit of that bitey stuff going on. It's not nearly as poppy as some of the Phil Collins stuff that was going on at the time. Um, I think it was probably um, probably Mike Rutherford's best album. And so I gave it this kind of um, almost uh, undivided attention at times over that. And uh, I liked it better than some of the Phil Collins stuff of the same time period. Although, ultimately, I think the Phil Collins stuff is better, but... Uh, at that time, you know, I was kind of torn between the two. Um, I did like them both, but, you know, I think I think Mike Rutherford at the time was probably a better thing. Over time, it has lost a little bit of its bite for me. I, I see it a little bit differently than I used to, especially since I've been doing this channel. I've come to see things a little bit different than I used to. But it's still, to me, a pretty solid album. And like so many of the albums you're going to see this week, a lot of them are very, this is a very tight thing. So from the first one of the week to the last one of the week, it's going to be very, very close. You know, you could pretty much flip the entire week upside down and, and put it back in place and still, um, I think it would be fairly accurate. So anyways, today's album Mike Rutherford's Acting Very Strange um, from 1982, of course, coming in at number 11 of my 31 favorite rock albums from the year 1982. So please hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell if you wish to be notified of what's coming up. And if you have any comments about... Um, this album in general or how you feel about uh, this compared to maybe the Rush album that went yesterday uh, or anything you want to talk about you can put it in the comment section below and I will uh, answer it if I can and we will see you uh, we'll see you tomorrow with another one so take care and have yourself a good day goodbye <laughs>